Hello and welcome to the video. Um, sorry for the two day absence, wasn't really feeling that great. Um, but I'm back, baby. You know me. Ha ha ha. Um, so I don't know. That. I just wanna, I just wanna talk some uh, business talk today. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanna talk about some Call of Duty because uh, recently I've been thinking like, bro, they're, they're masters of the game. You know, they they got us hooked. You know, they got us. It got us so uh, connected to the whole franchise that you can't be taken out. And, you know, I think, like, in a way, they're almost fucking themselves, but at the same time, they're fucking us. You know what I mean? Like, if you look at Advanced Warfare, you know, maybe not the best selling ever um, of a Call of Duty game, but what they do is implement the uh, supply drops, and they get you hooked on that, you know, and I bet they made big bucks off of the. Uh, off of that, you know, off of people buying supply drops, and you know they did that with uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 as well. Uh, you know they, uh, I mean, I want to say took advantage of, but they implemented the, uh, you know, the crypto keys or whatever, in order to get supply drops and the whole, uh, you know, like they're kind of making it more, you know, like put our put your money into the game to get better stuff in game you know and it's it's really something to where um uh other games have done this and call of duty is just trying to stay on top of the game you know and i think it's a good idea you know i mean especially when you get have games that don't sell as much as other games and you know i think that the uh the whole situation with the uh they're putting in the remastered edition of cod 4 but you have to buy um, Infinite Warfare to have it. I mean, that's just another form of revenue, you know. I mean, I bet a, not a lot of people are going to be buying Infinite Warfare, but because of the whole COD 4 thing, they're going to be getting more money off it. And um, I think later that they will sell individually, and that'll just make even more money. But right off the rip, initially, they're going to, you know, make it into that bundle deal to where you have to get both games, and they're going to be making. They're making money, you know, and, and I mean, they're just, they're just brilliant, you know, they're geniuses, they know how the game works, they're, I don't even know how to describe it, but they're just smart, you know, um, I don't know, just respect all over the place, you know, uh, I think they do some good stuff down there, you know, I hate Call of Duty, I actually tried playing it today, and it still sucked, but I tried at least, and, you know, I, I just respect what they do uh, in terms of just a business standpoint, and I really think that they uh, have have good content, but I just think that they're going in the wrong direction with the whole uh, game idea stuff, <laughs> so I don't know. Um, that's pretty much all I want to talk to today. You know, tomorrow we got Situational Saturdays. I think we're going to be putting out uh, this track. Um, Sunday too. I uh, haven't really worked on it that much, but I, I have some ideas popping. <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> Trust me on that. It's gonna be fun. And that is, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video though. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of this gameplay because it's pretty cool. So, see you guys later. Bye. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. Victory will soon be ours. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. Woo-hoo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>